Hi there, and welcome back to School Holiday Specials with NLV. My name is Sarah. I'm a librarian with the National Library Board. And recently, my friend taught me how to make this easy, cheesy, delicious potato recipe with just a microwave. And it was so simple that it got me wondering, how do microwaves work? So if you want to find out more about this everyday appliance, come along with me. The microwave was invented by Percy Spencer in 1941. The first commercially available microwave came out in 1947. Percy Spencer loved electricity and was so fascinated by it that he even studied it in his own time. Eventually, he was hired by the US Navy to work on building radar equipment, which uses radio waves to determine the distance, angle, and speed of the other objects. One day, when working with the radar, he noticed that the peanut cluster bar in his pocket had melted, even though he didn't even feel any heat there. He got curious, and the experiments began. He tried pointing this radar at corn, and it made popcorn. And then he tried again, but this time with an egg. It still worked, but the egg exploded and made a huge mess in the lab. This gave him the idea of putting this technology in a box, creating the very first microwave that we see today. Now that we know more about the fascinating history behind the microwave, what about the science behind how it works? So there are many misconceptions about the microwave and I'm here to debunk them all. Firstly, do microwaves contain nuclear radiation? Well, no. Microwaves don't contain any nuclear radiation. That would be so dangerous. Actually, what's heating up your food and cooking it in a microwave is called electromagnetic radiation. And anything that is magnetic has two poles. Water is made up of two hydrogen molecules and one oxygen molecule and it looks something like this. The hydrogen molecules have a positive charge, while the oxygen molecule has a negative charge. The electromagnetic radiation affects these H2O molecules because of its polarity. When the electromagnetic waves in the oven constantly move, this forces the water molecules to keep moving as they are attracted and repelled by the changing electromagnetic waves. This causes friction, and when there's friction, there's heat. This is the reason why your food heats up in the microwave. The microwave heats up the water molecules in your food. So that's why some people say that the microwave oven cooks inside out, whereas convectional ovens cook outside in. Another common misconception that people have about the microwave is that it's dangerous. But that's not true. Electromagnetic waves are not dangerous. Electromagnetic waves are actually less dangerous than UV rays from the sun or even X-rays that you find in hospitals. This is because the wavelengths are much longer, meaning that they carry less energy within them. Now that we've learned how microwaves work, let's go make that easy, cheesy potato snack. First, you will need to prepare these things. A medium-sized potato. Shredded cheese. Salt and pepper. Any type of cooking oil. Paper towels or cloth. Oven gloves. A microwavable plate, a fork, a knife, make sure to ask an adult for help, and a microwave oven. Now that we have everything we need, let's get started! Step 1. Wash your potato really well and dry it thoroughly using your paper towels or cloth.
Step two: Poke the potato all over with a fork, about five or six times. Once you're done, rub the potato with cooking oil. You can also season the potato with salt and pepper. Step three: Put the potato on your microwavable plate and place it in the microwave oven. If you're not sure whether you can use your plate in the microwave oven, ask an adult first. Step four: Cook on high, or about 700 watts, for five minutes. Always ask an adult for help if you're not sure about your microwave settings. Step five: Remove the potato from the microwave. Remember to wear oven gloves, or get an adult to do it for you. Remember, microwaves heat things up really quickly, so the plate will also be really, really hot. Step six: Check to see if your potato is fully cooked by piercing it with a fork. If it goes all the way through easily, then it's ready. If it doesn't, then put it back in the microwave oven for another two minutes. Step seven: Once it's ready, cut the potato into half, but don't go all the way through. Remember to always ask an adult for help when handling sharp objects. Step eight: Put shredded cheese on top. The heat from inside the potato will melt the cheese. Your cheesy potato is now ready. Thanks for staying all the way to the end, and I hope you're enjoying your cheesy potato. Hey, do you know what goes great with a snack? Yeah, a good book. Here are some interesting books for you to read along with your cheesy potato. Now that you've learned about microwaves, what about the electricity that powers this appliance? Discover how electricity moves and how electric charges are produced in this installment of the Everyday Science Academy series. Have you ever wondered how a set of batteries power the remote for your TV? How does a battery store energy? And provide electricity to everyday devices. Discover the history of batteries and how scientists and engineers figured out ways to store electricity in *How Batteries Work* by Victoria G. Christensen. We hope you enjoyed learning about the history of the microwave, how it works, and our cheesy potato recipe. Do check out our book recommendations and visit the link below for more good reads and things to do this holiday. Until the next time, stay safe. Bye.